as promised rated. I have a quick and dirty tear down of a Brutal and Care type 2706 power amplifier. Turns out I got two of them from the dump master that I saved them from. Uh, I've probably had them for, well I have had them for over 10 years sitting around. Um, so high time I had a look inside of them eh? One of them's got a bit of a dent on the side probably from being thrown in the dumpster. But, uh, we'll just work on one of them. Have a, look in, have a look inside of him. It looks like you can unscrew this and just pull it out. Could it be that easy? No, of course it couldn't. Now I was able to find a bit of information on these things, a user manual. So we've got some specifications, 75 VA into 3 ohms, and frequency response looks to be flat from 7 hertz to about 15 kilohertz, just below 15 kilohertz. And it consists of, look at this block diagram. Input attenuator, gain control, preamplifier, a gate, differential amplifier, going to a power amplifier with peak current limiter. And you can select whether the peak current is 1.8 amps or 5 amps. There's a clipping detector which illuminates this thing. There's feedback for eliminating distortion and temperature sensing to turn it off when it gets too hot. Okay. Output is on normal banana binding posts. The input is this funny bugger coax plug, which accepts bananas. You can put one in in the centre, and you've got, well, do it this way. You've got ground out here, and you can reach into the central banana post there. But the proper plug is a, a funny thing with. Uh, a fat metal shield for ground and I believe they're called J plugs but it looks like I can get away with something like this just to test it. Alright, now we'll open it up. Seems to be just four slotted screws on the back. Okay, so that can slide out with these two screws removed. And we're going to see inside. Now, what about, what has this done for me? Loosening those doesn't seem to have done anything. After more screws. This thing at the front is some sort of a lock. But I can't get it to free up anything. Oh well. So, big transformer, filter caps, bridge rectifier, all the circuitry is down here, we'll zoom in on that. All hand wired, output transistors on the heat sink. Uh, not that interesting, is it? So I wonder if I can try and uh, put a, put some something in it. These things, uh, from what I can gather, intended more for driving a vibrator, a shaker, for vibration measurement, which is one of the areas Brule and Care is into. But it's also a general purpose amplifier, so I should be able to stick a speaker on here and a tone into here and hear stuff. So I'll try that. Now it hasn't been powered on for a long time so I think maybe I'll start off at a lower voltage via the Variac. So I've got 140 volts coming out of the Variac now. Oh, so that isn't the clipping detector, that's the clipping indicator. Let's just power on. Okay. And I'll wind it up to 240 and see if any smoke comes out. 
180, 200, 220, 245. So, okay, that's good. No smoke. All right, I'll uh, hook up a speaker. We have a crappy little oscillator. I've got it connected to this high wave output. I'll connect that into there. Oh, and the speakers on the output. A bit of scratching in the speaker, so it's a good sign. Ooh. Bit there. Sounds like there's some distortion in there. Flipping. That's your minimum output from that. So. That's, a, that's a bowl, not a lead. I think this design goes back to 1972, so yeah. Bulbs, not leads. Oh, seems to work. But uh, I guess I should really put that on an oscilloscope and see what, whether that racket we hear in there, that clicking is coming from here or whether it's in this crappy source. All right, I'll try the other one now. Just make sure both of them are at least vaguely working. So this is the other amplifier. Uh, again, Seems to work just like the other one. So I'm guessing it's this sh shitty little oscillator that's causing that crackling. And a couple of the other B and K items that I have also had this knob here and from them I found out what it's for. It actually releases just the bottom which on this unit doesn't help a lot but I guess um, it might be useful. Another thing about the big transformer in a way you might be able to get to a lot more of the innards but not on this one. So that's what this is for. And I've got a better oscillator that I will try to use to run that instead of this piece of junk. And uh, we'll see if it sounds any better on that. All right, with a better frequency source than that piece of rubbish, turn on the PNK. And tell this thing to produce one kilohertz with frequency, one kilohertz, amplitude, one dBm. And we get a nice tone. And you can hear the distortion that comes in when it goes into clipping. Try other frequencies. Frequency one. Yeah. There's another frequency in there. Frequency 100 hertz. Frequency 10 hertz. Frequency 1 hertz. 
see it. I think that's far from my notes. In fact, I think this uh, frequency generator is 20 hertz out over the entire range. It, like, it produces, when you tell it 1 megahertz, you get 1 million and 20 hertz. So when you go to 1 hertz, I think you're getting 21 hertz. I've got to check that. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that's why this isn't really 1 hertz. I mean, it's much faster than that, isn't it? Frequency 0.1 hertz, not much different because the 20 is still there. Frequency 20 hertz, so now it's really more like 40. Frequency 30 hertz. There is some other, oh no, I was just, I thought there was uh, some other oscillation in there, but it's just this thing vibrating on. We can see two kilohertz. Five. We can see ten. We can see fifteen. And I almost can't hear that now. I don't know if that's my earball not being as good as they used to, or it's simply beyond the uh, frequency response of the speaker, because I wouldn't have thought that would be very good around 15 kilohertz. 12, 12, you can hear that, 13, not really, 10, 1 megahertz, or something there. No. Maybe my ears are just ringing. We can see 500 hertz. hertz. So that's probably more like 50 once you add the 20 to that. So there's our B&K Type 2706 power amplifier. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, um, give it a like, maybe subscribe. Catch you later.